What is going on YouTube? It is I, Jay, back with you guys for another video. And today we are doing the top 10 questions that I was asked. Uh, I asked you guys on Instagram to uh, send over your questions and I am going to now answer the top 10 that I got. Um, so with no further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, let me move my face out the way. Boom. Move my face right over there. There we go. Alright, so the first question I got here is from, let's see, uh, writing and Harvas? Writing and Harvas? I don't know. Um, which seems to be two dudes posing by a beautiful ocean view. Dope, man. Dope, dope, dope. All right, so they or he or she, he, he, I don't know, whatever, whoever it is says, uh, what comes first for Ethereum, 320 or 370? So let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum here. Uh, so Ethereum, so we're looking at the daily chart right now, as you can see. Um, so, I mean, basically it's been following Bitcoin. Um, or as as you know whatever Bitcoin's been doing is what it's been doing it has the same exact patterns basically everything's the same let me just uh, hold on let me fix this real quick throwing on oh looks like I got an Amazon package move this up here to the top all right so what I'm doing here I'm using the Fibonacci tool that I showed you guys how to use yesterday um, and just kind of uh, laying out, you know, I, I got the low, the lowest point here before this rally started, and I, then I got the, I put it all the way to the highest point, and now just kind of looking at the levels and seeing if any of these levels make sense. As you can see here, it there was a struggle here at the 38.2 percent, and it kind of ranged within this area. Um, same thing kind of here. So I mean, they're not perfect. But they're pretty close and if you look at it here it used this range of support which is a 61.8 percent Fibonacci level um, and it did struggle here at the 50 percent then when it broke through it went all the way up to the 38.2 percent so if we take a look at this it's currently basically at support here um, so 330 is the support here for uh, Ethereum um, I'd be looking to enter anything around 330 as close to 330 as possible uh, then you probably want a stop around three probably under 325 um, so you're gonna take about a five dollar five to six dollar risk uh, your first um, your targets are gonna be 350 uh, 360 trying to see what else yeah about 350 360 380 will probably be your three targets that you're looking for here so it's a good risk reward um, pretty pretty high probability if this support holds um, so you said what's gonna come first what was a question again I forgot 320 or 370 well that all depends man because if this support holds um, and we break this one then 370 will come first if the support doesn't hold then 320 will come first So I mean, you know, it's not a matter of trying to predict it. It's just a matter of playing uh, The best entry that you have available and then just playing the price, you know Don't try to predict don't have a bias which way it's gonna go. Just just play use trade what the price gives you You know what I mean? So um, Yeah, I hope that answers your question. Thank you again for your question um, next question, the second question, Julian Drabix, Julian Drabic, Drabic, uh, Julian Drabic over here looking super cool in his picture. He says, uh, how much does the NASDAQ affect Bitcoin at the moment? Um, very good question, Julian. Uh, so the NASDAQ is very correlated right now with Bitcoin. Bitcoin and NASDAQ are pretty much correlated. Um, that's why the, the reason one of the main reasons that Bitcoin went down the last few days was because NASDAQ also went down um, so they are definitely 
correlated. Uh, let me see if I can figure out what I'm what I was gonna do. Uh, so if we take a look at the spy, or well, you said the Nasdaq. So if we take a look at the Nasdaq. You'll see that uh, it dropped over the last few days. So, what? Well, this, this is not what I'm looking for. I'm not trying to. Here we go. So you'll see that uh, it dropped over the last few days, um, and just the same way that Bitcoin dropped. So it is definitely affecting Bitcoin's price for some reason. Um, you know, people are just kind of panicking. Uh, and when there's panic in the market, um, they tend to just, you know, want to be into cash rather than in any type of investment. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, it is very correlated at times. At times, it's not. Um, that's pretty much all I can say about that. You just got to, again, you just got to play the price. Um, and, and just keep a lookout for, you know, for the, for the stock market and, and other equities as well as Bitcoin. Because um, sometimes the market might go down, but then stuff like Bitcoin, gold, silver will go up. Uh, sometimes everything just goes down or everything just goes up together. It just, it's very, a lot of times it's very random. Uh, sometimes it's due to like pandemic. So because of the pandemic, everyone's... Uh, kind of afraid so everyone rather be in cash during a pandemic than in any type of investment um burr burr 1993 says up or down uh burr again like i said uh in the other one it all i'm just playing the levels i'm playing the trades here i'm playing what the trades giving me right now we're on uh fibonacci support here um so and we're also in let me see let's do a little trend line right here and you can see we kind of have a trend line right here let's see if this trend line goes any lower uh, does it maybe over here no I would have to go way over here Let's see. Let's see if I can connect the dots. <laughs> this is what you call connecting the dots. So that's pretty close here. All right. So you can actually draw a trend line from the March lows. So from the March lows all the way back up, you can actually draw that trend line right there. So that's actually another good sign of support. So we have the support from the Fibonacci levels. We have the support from a trend line from March lows. So uh, this is a good support to play here. So I'm just playing the support. Uh, if it goes up, then, you know, we're, we're going up with it. If it goes down, then, you know, we'll flip our trade. So for now, uh, we are in a long trade here. Um, what is next? Thank you for your question, Burr. Jose Canecos. Oh, I thought it was Jose Canseco for a second. Uh, Jose says, "What do you think about Uni? Uh, Uni is a is an interesting project, Jose. Um, I mostly trade based on technical analysis, and because Uni is such a new project, I am not uh, trading it at the moment. I need more time, and I need it to have more time in the market before I even you know consider trading it." Um, cause, cause just look at this, you know, when this took off, everybody was pretty much buying up here and then it dumped on them. So I ha I need more, there's not enough data for me to trade this because it's in a price discovery stage. Um, so I'm not currently invested in it. Um, I know a lot of people are invested in it. So, I mean, if you're into the fundamentals of the project and you believe in the project, you know, by all means, uh, you can invest in it. Uh, but just do your own research. You know what I mean? I'm not currently invested in it. I trade mostly based on technical analysis and there's just not enough information for me to trade it at the moment. But uh, thank you, Jose, with your super cool shades, man. Appreciate the question. Um, next, Skirtle. What's up, Skirtle? I, I was about to say Squirtle. What's up, Skirtle? Uh, Skirtle 
looks like he's some type of athlete. What is that? Uh, soccer or something you're playing over there? Um, he says, can I join your trade class from Africa? Skirtle, you can join the trade class from anywhere you'd like in the world. If you were in the North Pole or in the South Pole, you could still join the class. You just have to have a basic understanding and um, on trading and basics understanding on executing trades and you know how to follow the trades and etc etc um so yeah you can join from anywhere in the world skirtle thank you again for your question good luck with uh soccer or whatever it is you're doing there um next we have ben Han ben Han ben hansberry ben hansberry what's up ben ben is over here chilling with his beautiful girlfriend or wife and he wants to know what are my thoughts on link so uh, chain link we reviewed it many times um, I told you guys in one of my market analysis when it was way up here I told you guys not to buy it was way too high um, and when it and then my buy price at the time was set at 13 to 14 dollars um, so this would have been the entry you would have been able to make some money right here um, but yeah, other than that, my next uh, support buy price was $10. It's currently under 10. I told you guys, if it goes under, uh, sell, like don't stay in a trade under $10. So right now the next support here looks like it's $7 probably. Um, so $7 would be the price that I'm looking at, uh, to enter. If I'm doing a support entry, if I'm looking for a breakout entry, then I'm probably looking to buy above $10. Um, above ten dollars I'll consider buying it um, the safer option is probably above thirteen dollars um, so those would be my two or three different entries depending how you want to play it. Um, but yeah so thank you for your question Ben appreciate you man a a a p z z z z apps 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 uh, abs with this killer mustache the legendary mustache there he says when BTC come back to 12k um, good question I don't know <laughs> you know I I am not a Oracle or and I cannot you know predict the future but um, I'm sure one day it will go back to 12k uh, that's one thing I do know um, now when I do not know so I'm just like you, man. I'm just holding on for dear life and just riding this, you know, riding this roller coaster. Um, thank you again for your question, my man. Um, Rude man, Rude man Milan. Rude man Milan on this jet ski says, should I hold Ethereum, ETH? Uh, well, it depends what, what you're holding it for. If you're holding for long term, then yeah, definitely. You should definitely hold it. Um, if you enter that and also depends on your entry you know uh, but you should I would recommend if you're holding for long term then yeah just hold and even if it uh, drops further just buy more man average down your your uh, entry um, and that's pretty much it on that I I'm bullish on Ethereum long term I definitely believe we will break these highs and go back above 500 um, it's just a matter of time right now it's just correlated with bitcoin so it's you know following whatever bitcoin does at the time um but i am bullish on ethereum for long term uh billions mindset says uh where is founder of bitcoin um the founder of bitcoin is either dead or you know just hiding somewhere um he, he is anonymous so uh, I know as much as you do his name is Satoshi Nakamoto that is all I know and he last time he was heard from was years ago let's see let's do a quick search Satoshi Nakamoto so right here Satoshi Nakamoto is a name used by the pres 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 presumed pseudonymous person or persons who developed Bitcoin, authored the Bitcoin white paper, and created and deployed Bitcoin's original reference implementation. As part of the implementation, Nakamoto also devised the first blockchain database. Um, so he was <laughs> known for inventing Bitcoin 
and it, this is a super random April 5th 1975 super random that's definitely not true because nobody knows exactly who it is um, but yeah man nobody really knows uh, who it is or you know uh, or anything really but his net worth was 19.6 billion in 2017 uh, when Bitcoin was at the all-time high making him the 44th, 44th richest person in the world so I'm not sure um, who or where he is or anything like that but um, he's definitely rich if he is alive and uh which question is this i this might be the yeah this is the last question last question of the day for me aj jays um who's standing on the street just chilling be careful bro you might get hit by that motorcycle back there he says why bitcoin and ethereum value not rising um it's currently uh correlating with the equities market and it's just kind of following it a little bit um, there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fear out, um, so that's mostly why. Um, so we just gotta wait it out, man. There's not much to do at the moment, but wait and see which way it decides to go. If it respects these, uh, the support, then it should. We should see a bounce back up to try to test this again. If it doesn't, then we should see. We could see a drop back down towards, um, you know this range and then the same thing over here with uh, with Bitcoin it could drop back down to the 9800 range if, it, if that doesn't hold then it could drop back down to the 9200 range so uh, at this point we're just at a wait and see uh, spot where you know we just gotta wait you know there's not much to do so that's basically it guys uh, appreciate you guys for you know watching this video appreciate all of those who sent in the questions next week we'll do another one um and those were the top 10 questions that i received today and uh for the question of the day what was uh your favorite question from the ones that we just went through just let me know which one and uh and and if you want answer one of the questions yourself you know if you have a different opinion on any of these questions uh tell me which question you like the most and and if you have an answer for it drop an answer I, I always like to see different perspectives and points of view so uh that's basically it ladies and gents thank you again for tuning in please make sure to hit the like button make sure to follow the channel and subscribe and hit that notification button thank you guys peace love as always i will see you guys tomorrow